Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how you can do your pre-enrollment in the University of Italy website. Um, if you don't have the website, you can just search on Google, University of Italy, or you can go down below in the description where you can find the link and you can go to this page, okay? Now, over here, uh, when you reach this page, all you have to do is click pre-enrollment. If you have an account, you log in. If you don't have an account, you click register, okay? Now, here, as you can see, everything is in Italian. So if you want to translate, you just click over here. It's gonna translate into the English language, okay? Then now everything is translated for you, okay? Now, for the Italian text code, unless if you already have one, don't create because it's gonna create automatically. Now, once you have all of these details, then we can proceed to the next step. Okay, so now you're gonna be redirected to this page. Now, in case if you were not redirected to this page after you log in and you, or create your account, then just go to the University of Italy website and click pre-enrollment, okay? Um, where I showed you in the beginning. Now, once you're here, if it's in Italian language again, you can click here English so it can be translated. Then when uh, you translate it, then you just click here pre-enrollment application. Okay. Now wait a few moments. Again, you, ha you have the option to translate it. Now you're gonna click here, new pre-enrollment application. Now here you select your academic year, depending on which year you're applying to. Um, doo -doo -doo. You can select here whichever whichever um, whichever citizenship you have. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. After everything here is entered, then you click go to step B. Sorry, one second. 49, right? We go to step B. Then over here, you upload your passport. You put the passport expiry date. Uh, make sure your passport is in PDF, okay? In case that you don't have your passport in PDF, there's many apps that you can search. Um, some of them are called... Um, uh, picture to PDF. Let me show you. So, picture to PDF app. So there's plenty, plenty of apps that um, you can take a picture and then make that picture into a PDF. Okay, this is an example of one. Okay. Um, and then you upload them here. Then you fill in your visa application. So which country you're going to be submitting, right? For example. You select the consulate, then here you want to click, I want to enroll into a course. Now here you want to put the, the institution, so Universita, this institution name, for example, you can click, um, let's say, Sapienza, right? Now, if you're choosing medicine and surgery, what you want to choose is Laurea Magistrale Asi uh, Ciclo Unico. Okay, click this one. Now, here you're going to have plenty of degrees, plenty of options. Now, if you apply in English, click English here, then you select medicine, dentistry, whatever you want to choose. But obviously, here you're going to be choosing your university of choice. Okay, if you didn't yet choose your university of choice, Highly suggest doing that, make your research um, and get very informed before you make a decision. And once you already know which university you want to apply to, then here you can put the university. Make sure that all of the, these details are correct, especially Laurea Magistrale, Ciclo Unico. Make sure everything is absolutely correct so you don't have any problem on your embassy um, when you're getting your visa in the future, okay? So again, over here you can double check that everything is correct. You can here, you can check the course link. Here we know that is medicine and surgery because we can double check everything. Um, you don't you don't need this by the way, but if you have, it can be useful. You, you can put it here, but if you don't need it, that's absolutely fine. Okay, guys, now you go to step C. Okay, um, after you chose your university, all right. Then when you reach step C, you're gonna upload your qualifications. 
okay so you upload your qualifications okay. so you put a level then over here you put whatever your or your qualification is for example you can put um final diploma right a levels and you can also put your dov or cma over there okay if you already have it then after you upload everything then that's it you click apply to pre-enrollment pre and then your pre-enrollment pre is going to be sent okay to the embassy now i want to show you how it looks like once you receive your pre-enrollment letter just so you guys are aware of how okay guys, so here i want to show you how does it look when your demand has been accepted or when your um, um, pre-enrollment summary has been accepted okay so let me just translate over here this is my account um, um when i applied for the medicine um and surgery last year um let me just translate one sec so here you go to application okay you're obviously going to receive an email as well click next go all the way to the end okay then you click summary then you click here university pre enrollment uh, application and that's it right guys then this this right here you download um, and this is going to bring to the um, embassy to take your to take your uh, student visa okay so yeah that's about it that's everything that you guys should know for the IMAT exam and and, and how to apply for pre-enrollment and hope the video was helpful and thank you very much and if you need any help with preparing for your exam i'm at exam make sure you go down the link below to offermatschool.com where we are offering classes and if you're not interested in classes at the moment don't worry we are really working on a lot of free resources to help all of you guys okay so wish you all the best and hopefully you will get to, into medical school soon take care